Hi guys, and welcome to Prison Architect. Today we're going to be looking at how to do an execution with a death row prisoner. And first of all, how to get death row prisoner into your prison. So, you'll need a couple of things. What you'll need is, you'll need at least one death row cell, an execution chamber, and uh, a kitchen and canteen to feed them. As well as that, you'll also need a maximum security cell marked out, like actual deployed ready only maximum security and the reason this is is because it is possible for your prisoners to be freed or found not guilty sort of thing and so uh, if this happens oh, wrong way there and so when this happens they will become a maximum security prisoner in your prison at this point when you go into prisoner intake very rarely, I mean very rarely, a death row prisoner will appear. So what I do is I actually usually, instead of doing this, what I usually do is have all of these turned down and just uh, intake all death row. Because then as soon as one's available, they come in straight away. Once they're in your prison, you they will be escorted to their cell. They won't leave their cell. The uh, guards will bring them food. They, they won't ever leave. And uh, if you go into your programs, you will need to start running the death row appeal. The death row appeals are essential because they grant the ability to either lower or raise this percentage and this is the chance of them being given what it's called clemency and it's the chance that after they've been murdered that they're going to be found not guilty. This has to be down to at least 10% or lower before you're able to schedule their execution and then once you're ready you simply click on your prisoner and click schedule execution. As you can see it will come with this list, this tab, um, your whole prison will be affected for the duration of the execution. So first of all you have to go test facility, or you can do this in any order, and what it will start to do is it will uh, turn it on, make sure it's ready to go, it's like yep ready to go. Then you uh, initiate a prison wide lockdown, like so. You can see it's 34% because 34% of the prisoners gone back to their cells, and it'll turn the prison to lockdown and everybody will now be escorted back to a cell. This uh, this can be quite time costly. can take a while. And we've got a prison of, I think, just over 200 people. And we've got a death. Who knew? Who knew? He's died. It's all kicking off down here. Which isn't good at all. We have an armed guard down here, shouldn't we? I don't think we've got enough armed guards, so there's not one there. But, uh, just wait for that. 185 percent. I'll get there eventually. 88. There you go, in the 90s now. This is good. 97. It's the last 2 percent usually take ages. 98 and 99. There you go, 98. Hopefully this is quick. I need to put a wooden floor in there. Come on. 99 and one percent more. 98, so it's gone down again. 99, go on. 100. Just for a second, it literally just needs to be like one second and it's done. Hopefully, this will hurry up. This is because your prisoner needs to be, ex needs to be uh, taken to the execution chamber, and I don't think they're allowed to interact with any prisoners along the way. I believe. I don't know. One percent more, and Dan Mundy can uh, go on his way to a better life. Do you want to see what happens, Dan? So he's been sentenced 25 years, multiple crimes, came murder, torture, and armed robbery. Terrible. Should we just uh, give him one more tough time, quick? <laughs> Such prisoner. Ah, oh, bless him. Okay, he's about to have his cell searched. But uh, okay, so now you need to assemble the execution detail, which if you look up here is basically a the priest uh, they get to pick one a warden and the chief make their way to the cell and also witnesses get to come in so his victim's family are going along to see his death
and then we just wait for them all to arrive. Finally making the way. Through here. It's a shame they use the, I suppose, every way as a staff door, isn't it? I suppose there isn't really a, uh, a guest entrance to the prison. We should probably make one. I get let through here. Finally into the execution chamber. Just wait, there is usually a guard, yeah, see there's a guard stationed to the death row area. Let them in. And now uh, they're here, and he's here, he's getting his last speech. Such as, uh, let's give him one more hard time. It's like, no. And then uh, we escort him to the facility, so he gets walked by the warden, the chief, and his execution witness, the priest. They're all going to search his cell. He's like, no. Don't look under the pillow. <laughs> and uh, he'll get led in by our guard, and uh, he goes sit in the chair. And now, take one last second to reflect on what you're about to do. And press the execution button. Once you've killed a prisoner, click Dismiss Staff and Witnesses. A small countdown, I assume the warden's like thing, you know, thank you for being here today. Uh, they leave, the priest probably says the last words, and then uh, they're all ready to leave the prison. And then you get a final report. The mandate execution of Dan Mundy was carried out at 23.37, as scheduled by electric chair. In the presence of witnesses, the standard compensation of $10,000 is awarded to the institution for their part in this process. And that is it, guys. That is how you uh, how you execute a prisoner. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I guess. I mean, I'm not sure if that's the right word to use, but uh, I hope this video helped. Certainly. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.